Because what are formulas? Just fancy equations, right? So we're talking about formulas are just fancy equations. And we start out with something easy. We say the area of a rectangle is equal to base times height. And I say to you, let's solve for B. Solve for B. Let's get B by itself. And here's a formula. Area of a rectangle is equal to base times height. So we're going to say that area of BH, we want to solve for B, it means we're going to divide out that H, divide out that H, so we get A over H is equal to B. So area divided by the height is equal to the base of a rectangle. So formulas. I'm talking about formulas here. Okay? And say we have area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. Area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. And I said, let's solve for r. Solve for r. Okay? So I get area equals pi r squared. Divide out the pi. Divide out the pi. So I get area divided by pi is equal to r squared. How do I get rid of that r squared? I'm going to take the square root. So we get area over pi, the square root is equal to r. So the square root of area divided by pi is equal to r. That's what we call formulas, or also you might hear them called literal equations because they stand for something. Okay? And so we're talking about literal equations right here. And say I have x is equal to 1 half of y plus 4. And we want to solve for y. Okay? Literal equation, we got two variables. We're not going to get in one answer. We're going to get one in terms of the other. We want to solve for y. What are we going to do? We got x is 1 half. Okay? I want to get rid of that half. Remember the same idea we did this earlier. How do I get rid of that half? I multiply everything by 2. The LCD is 2. So I multiply this by 2 and this by 2. That becomes 2x is equal to the 2's cancel. So all we're left with is y plus 4. Remember, we're solving for y. So I'm going to minus the 4, minus the 4, and we get 2x minus 4 equals y. And the way I always tell students is imagine this is a dance without any music. Because you're not solving, you're not going to get a nice answer of x equals 5, x equals 3, x equals negative 2, y equals 1 over 3. You're not going to get a numeral answer. We're going to get back this. We're going to get 2x minus 4 equals y. So you're almost dancing without music. You, you're doing the steps, but there's no music because you're not going to get a nice solid answer there at the end. Okay?